Hello, I'm Sean Kentayashi with Saucon Valley Cute and Cuddly Toy Schnauzers. In this video, I want to introduce you to Penny's three puppies that are available. This is a little boy, Pebble. This is Ryder. And this is Tori. Penny's puppies are now a week old. And so I wanted to show them to you so that those of you who are on my waiting list could get a really good look at these three little puppies. So let's start with this one. This pretty little puppy is a boy and you can see that he has a beige, creamy beige coat. He is probably going to look a lot like Reddy. He currently has a nice little white halo on his head, but that will fill in with this creamy color over time. He's one week old and he is just thriving. What a cute little boy he is. Again, he's going to end out being a solid color beige. The nose will fill in and be black. I could guesstimate, but that's all it is, is a guesstimate that he will probably be between 10 and 12 pounds when he's full grown. So there is little boy number one. Now let me show you. This was the first boy born, by the way, in the litter. And now here is the second one that was born and there's actually video of him being born in one of the prior videos. I want you to um, see him very clearly at one week old. He will be a salt and pepper. So this color will change very dramatically and he will be salt and pepper eventually but it's going to be a while before that's evident. That's the nature of puppies that are salt and pepper in color. So let me show you what he's looking like next to his sibling here. These are thriving puppies. They are doing so great. And then finally, the third puppy that was born is Again, has a little bit of a halo on the top of his head. And here's mom coming over to say, I'm getting in this too. But um, you can see here, this one is very beige. So where the first boy was very creamy, this one is very much like Reddy in his coloring. And so again, the halo on the top of his head will fill in over time. So we've got three little boys here. It just so happens that Penny is also playing nurse mom right now. Good job, Penny. To two of Sweet Tea's puppies who happen to be Penny's half siblings. So this is a really uh, fun little thing there. These next two puppies that I'm going to show you are Wayhill puppies, but these are the two from Sweet Tea's litter that are creamy, light colored, and they are younger than the two puppies, or the three puppies rather, that I just showed you but they're still in this same cream color family way. So this is the little boy. So far, all the puppies that I've showed you have been boys. Now I will show you the little girl. So this is the creamy 
white little girl from Sweet Teas Litter. So showing you some options for those of you who are on my waiting list. I will be calling you very soon to say, what are you thinking? Is one of these your puppy? And when I call, we can go over which one of these would be appropriate for you and what you are looking for. These puppies would be ready to go to their new homes in early October. So if the timing is right for you, that's what's happening. We also have Sweet Tea's puppies. So Sweet Tea has eight puppies. These are two right here of Sweet Tea's puppies. So there are six more that I'll be showing you in the next video. And then Liberty is due to have her puppies anytime now. And then um, Coco's puppies will be coming along later this month. Coco's puppies, all of them will be black and silver phantoms. So none of these puppies right here are black phantoms, but all of the rest of Sweet Tea's puppies are black phantoms. So again, I'll be showing you those in the next video coming up. I look forward to talking to those of you who are on my waiting list about these puppies. We are very grateful to Miss Penny for being so willing to have some of Sweet Tea's puppies. These two right here are Sweet Tea's puppies. You can tell because they still have their tails. They haven't been able to get their tails docked yet. And these three are Penny's puppies. And Penny is just such a good mom. She's licking and taking care of and cleaning and doing everything she needs to do. So we're very grateful to Miss Penny for helping out with Sweet Tea's litter. Puppies at this age love to latch on to a nipple, as you can see here. And they'll nurse for a little while and then they'll fall asleep and they'll wake back up and nurse some more. And so you can see here, I'm waking him up a little bit and he's starting to nurse again. Hanging out with puppies like this is so relaxing. Just watching them move, sleep, we're typically playing some lovely classical music for them. Dana, who is staying overnight and helping me during the day with them, loves classical music. In fact, she goes to Berkeley, plays a flute. And uh, so she, as she is working with the puppies, is usually listening to something very uh, just dreamy quality about it. I obviously can't put it in the background here for you to hear. There we go. Oh, yeah. Such sweet puppies. Again, those of you on my waiting list, really looking forward to talking with you. I'll be making those phone calls tomorrow.